Well, first tonight, the Prime Minister has described it as the greatest human rights issue of our time and has even set up a new task force to tackle it. So-called modern slavery is the exploitation of workers, usually from abroad, for little or no money and often under horrific conditions. But how are we as consumers unwittingly supporting the trade? The Social Affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball has been investigating. For many of us, buying a coffee is the first thing we do each day. And we like to think the farmer who produced the beans was paid a fair price. We often hear about the ethics of buying from poorer countries, but what about closer to home? What about buying goods and services in this country from workers who've been illegally exploited? Lorinus is from Lithuania. He came to the UK when he was 19 to work as a chicken catcher on farms across the country. You get scratches all over your body, mostly on legs and hands. You can get scratches on your face as well. You never know how animals are going to act in the dark, because we always used to work in the dark. A tough and dirty job in conditions like these, filmed secretly on a different farm, but he also had to endure low pay for long hours and poor living conditions. That house was suitable for normal family or not for nine or eight or seven growing men which once works and works in dirty conditions. It was horrible. But for days at a time, he didn't even have a bed, driven around the country to work without rest or toilet breaks. Going from farm to farm, if you be able to sleep uh, sitting in a van, you get sleep. If you don't been able to sleep, your own problem. At the Happy Egg Company, we like our girls to have fun. This well-known high street brand is owned by Noble Foods. Among the places that Lorinus worked was Noble's Chicken Farm on land here near to Billsthorpe in Nottinghamshire. But unlike the brand, he was far from happy here. To load eight wagons in a long bell farm, it took about 16 hours. It's really hard because you exhaust all the time. You don't have time to recover on energy. We was used to get three pounds, four thousand chickens. In a landmark case, Lorinus and other workers successfully sued the agency that directly employed them for unpaid wages, and they're now pursuing a further civil claim for damages. In a statement, Noble Foods said the welfare and treatment of all staff in its supply chain is of paramount importance. It had stopped using the chicken catching agency involved in Lorinus's case as soon as the allegations came to light and it's since developed its own procedures, spot checks and training to identify any problems. Modern slavery is said to be in every city and large town in the country. When people are rescued, they're helped by the Salvation Army. The government estimates that around 13,000 people are held in modern slavery type conditions in the UK at any one time, which is an extraordinary figure. In our region alone, of the 55 people helped by the Salvation Army last year, two thirds have been victims of unskilled labour exploitation. It's the fastest growing sector of modern slavery. People are held by the threats of the traffickers, so they're told that this will happen to you, maybe uh, you'll be thrown in prison, or um, we know where your family is and something dreadful will happen to your family if you try to escape. So all kinds of ways and methods are, are used to keep people in a situation that they don't want to be in. It's extraordinary to think that in this day and age, that people are still being held in our country, in the UK, in our communities, sometimes right under our noses, in modern slavery conditions. Hi, who's in charge this afternoon? Do you speak English? No. No, what, what language do you speak? Uh, Romanian. Romanian? OK. Just stay with me a minute. Police are carrying out a series of checks on car washes. This one in Cheshire is run by a company called Waves but it's branded under the name of Tesco. Well, you all live together, yeah? Yeah. Okay, is it all that same address? Yeah. 
Although no modern slavery offences are discovered, workers here get half the national minimum wage and pay their boss twice the market rate for rent for their accommodation, with five workers crammed into a two-bedroom flat. You, what's your English like? No good. No, no, no. no English no. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not in any trouble yeah, and this is about, this yeah, right, and great. just to help yeah. them out, we are yeah. here to help them yes. out. And... Right, the house is rented by the boss so, and they pay the rent. Uh, Waves has a network of hand car washes at Tesco stores across the country. Two share a room right. and one sleeps in the living room, they call it as a room as well. Okay. Following the raid, this car wash was closed down. Tesco says it was very disappointing that Waves hadn't followed the stringent procedures previously agreed. And since the problems came to light, Tesco has reviewed Waves operations at its other stores and introduced stronger checks. The Gangmasters Licensing Authority, based in Nottingham, previously only checked working conditions in the food and agriculture industries. But under new laws and a new name, it'll be able to tackle labour exploitation wherever it's found. I'm constantly not surprised but disappointed in today's society that modern slavery is there. It's, it's in most organisations now. Uh, if it's not, it's because we haven't found it, as opposed to it not being there. A few days after the police raids on car washes, a special conference on modern slavery is held at the University of Derby. Several businesses sign a pledge to check their supply chain for exploited workers. Under new laws, last week was the deadline for large firms to prove they'd done it. Among those at the conference, the man from Waves, whose job it is to check that all of its car washes are above board. Interested to have a chat with you about modern slavery. Inside Out grabbed a word with him as he left. Is it a bit embarrassing for you that your company is implicated in this police raid and here you are today at this event? No, I wouldn't say it's embarrassing. I think we are learning, as with lots of other businesses which are attending this, uh, this presentation today. It is a problem for the UK and we, like every other business, are doing our best and utmost to make sure that we can eradicate as much as possible and wherever possible when items of this uh, nature come to, uh, come to the fore. In a further statement, Waves told us... All of our franchisees have to follow the same rigorous employment practices to ensure the legal and ethical treatment of every single worker. We have a strict vetting process in place, followed by a programme of regular training and robust audits. At the end of my investigation, I've come to meet a man who's led the way over tackling modern slavery. Hi, nice to meet you. Come on in. The Bishop of Derby helped to draw up the latest legislation. He's just been to the United Nations in New York to talk about it, and he's part of a group endorsed by the Pope, which is working to eradicate human trafficking and modern-day slavery. What do you do when you go out to a car wash or, or go out buying eggs, for instance, to make sure that you're not unwittingly supporting modern slavery? When we go to places where there's a really good deal, Rather than just grab the bargain, one of the things we need to think is, why is this such a cheap deal, and do I need to ask a question about it? We're not asking the public to be the judge and jury, and suddenly say, hey, this is labour exploitation. There are numbers people can bring. We have a card that we distribute to everybody around the place. We just ask the question, and then the police and the proper agencies will check it out. Modern slavery is said to be the world's second most profitable criminal activity after drugs. We are repeatedly coming up upon the same signs and symptoms of what we know about in our sector happening elsewhere. They sold a lie, something that isn't true, but because they want to believe it, they follow their dream. And then they're trapped in a situation that they can't get out of. What the need to do is to try to stop uh, businessmen using uh, peoples like as slaves because it's around all the United Kingdom in situations like that, it's of thousands. There's no doubt that there's a real determination to tackle modern slavery and how religious groups are working with the authorities to help the victims. But it's down to all of us 
to ask questions and to keep our eyes peeled.